to the world on a Vespa. Vespa is the most famous and beloved scooter in the world. From Pontedera to India, from the UK to the US to Vietnam, in its 70 years, Vespa has never been afraid of crossing boundaries or borders. It has passed through diverse languages and climates and arrived at everyone's doorstep. Vespa unites the world and continues to symbolize Italy, the country that brought it to life. 18 million times, Vespa has given people the dream of becoming Vespisti. So our objective, why we have chosen this topic, because we want to, to study the successful re-entry of Vespa in Indian market. And as we are personally both personally use Vespa, so we want to share the history related to Vespa. So our contents are objectives, introduction, history, re-entry of Vespa, re-entry marketing strategies, marketing share, revenues, competitors, future scope, and finally we conclude. Now introduction. Vespa, the parent company of Vespa is Piaggio. It is an Italian company. Founder is Ronaldo Piaggio. Headquarter is situated in Pontidera, Italy. And CEO, is, CEO of India is Diego Graffi, who is also a managing director of Vespa. Plant in India is situated in Baranati, Maharashtra. And the headquarters in India is in Pune, Maharashtra. Number of outlets in India are 250. So now about history. Like Vespa has a great history. Uh, it's been founded uh, by in 1884 by Rinaldo Piaggio. It's basically Italian company. So Vespa re-entered in India market three times. Okay. So first time in 1950 with the joint venture of uh, uh, Bachara Trading Company (BTC), which is also known as Bajaj Auto. Then, uh, because of some political dispute like uh, uh, personalization, the uh, partnership uh, is been broke. Then, in uh, secondly, then in 1983, the Vespa again re-entered in India market with LML. LML, uh, you must have heard of, uh, heard from your parents and grandparents, maybe. Then, in 1999, partnership again ended because of some internal dispute. Then. Uh, in, but Vespa never wants to leave the Indian market. In 2012, he re-entered India. Vespa came back with model LX LX 125cc with the price of 66,661. It is positioned as a premium pricing because at that time the price 66,661 for scooter is much more, 25 to 35% more than a normal pricing. So tagline was fashion unchanged because Vespa brought heritage and vintage fashion back to Indian market and invested 205 crores to set a Baramati plant. The aim of Baramati plant is to Manufacture 1,50,000 units per year. So, re-entry of, uh, re of marketing strategies. Like Vespa is planning to re-enter in India, so they must have some marketing strategies. So, these are. Like, uh, they, they, uh, they, uh, they run the digital campaigning with a, uh, with a ugly one worldwide. In the same uh, digital campaigning, they made a, they produce a contest call, called as a Once Upon a Vespa. Like in Once Upon a Vespa, there is a, there is a competition and they were awaiting the people about their vintage look and the classy look. Uh, in the Once Upon a Vespa, the prize money, the prize was the tour to Italy and the Vespa. They introduced a three-valve engine in first time in scooter market. The Vespa has, uh, the, is the only one scooter which has a three-valve engine. Like three-valve will, will give you more power. Like uh, the people who have a Vespa might have feel the power, you know, power. So they aimed at, they aimed at a vintage look and Italian look. They focus on premium pricing only as they don't want to lower down their uh, brand and they target the youth and retires. So the challenges faced by uh, faced during the re-entering 
they were they were entering the dominated market which were dominated by the honda suzuki and uh, other brands so they they have to face that challenge then they keep they uh, they are they are keeping the uh, uh, entry price as a high as a premium price they spread the they spread the low vintage look so uh, spreading a vintage look in a uh, modern era is a uh, difficult for them now models of vespa there are two two segments which are 125 cc and 150 cc in 125 cc these are the models vespa urban club vespa vxl vespa note vespa red and vespa sxl and in 150 cc there is vespa sxl 150 vespa vxl and vespa eleganta you can go through the pricing it's giving there so the market share the market share of a scooters a scooters market in india 2019 the market size is 67 lakh 4741 units so the you can see the 54.91% is been held by honda and the 1.16% is been held by piaggio vespa revenue in india revenue in india in crores it is given like uh, you can see from 2012 that is 133.8 crores it increased to 523.9 crores in 2018 which shows that the vespa successfully re enters the indian market the competitors every brand has a competitors so vespa has so vespa have a, uh, mainly the these competitors honda tvs hero motor of suzuki and yamaha so these are the competitors for uh, uh, piaggio vespa future outlook vespa every company has a future outlook because to success they have to think for their future and so vespa has to expand their outlets from 150 to 350 to introduce vespa electrica which will be the first electrical vespa in indian market and they are planning to introduce 21 new models which will come in soon so the conclusion vespa is trying hard to enter in the india market vespa must focus on its heritage look but it should also focus on its pricing strategy uh, vespa targeting the youth and retirees only there is still room for improvement as the market is dominated by the local brands thank you thank you